Hello everyone, my name is Dee and welcome to Books and Quirks. Today is Friday. Because Readorama is starting on Sunday, I really only have one book to show you that I plan on reading prior to Sunday. <laughs> so I thought I'd give you a little bit of a wrap up as well. So I read quite a bit this past week. I managed to finish all of the books that I said I was thinking about. I actually read them all. <laughs> and I also started and uh, just finished last night Into the Wild. So I'm going to start with that one. So Into the Wild is by John Krakauer, and this recounts the journey of a young man who basically gave up all his possessions and hitchhiked around the country. And his final destination was to go to Alaska and live off of the land. This one it's a very short book. It's only 200 pages, but it's not a fast read. It actually had me thinking quite a bit. You know, I would read a little bit each day and I found myself thinking about it quite a bit because, you know, it's not a spoiler. In the very first paragraph on the very first page, it says that, you know, he was found dead in Alaska. This this guy, his name was Chris McCandless. Um, you know, he he wanted to live off the land. That was his last destination. And unfortunately, he was found dead. So the entire book recounts his journey through, you know, secondhand stories, people he hitchhiked with, people he he met along the way. And and also understanding like how this how this happened, because that's all you know from the first paragraph on the first page. The by the end of the book, you finally figure out kind of, you know, what happened based on not only um, based on actually his journal entries and things that that he had left. Um, you know, when he got to Alaska, he wound up taking refuge in this abandoned bus. I don't know how this bus got in the middle of the wilderness, but there was this abandoned bus, you know, it was really run down. And, um, but that's where he basically camped out and was in this, you know, rusted old, worn down bus <laughs> that he called the magic bus. Um, I, I didn't understand the main character in this book for a long time through thinking about it a couple of days after reading the first half, I started to understand, I think a little bit of maybe what was going through his mind. You know, he was a young man he wanted adventure. He also wanted control over his life. Um, you know, there were certain events that happened as, you know, growing up that, you know, made him feel like he was just part of a machine kind of doing what he was supposed to do. And, and then once he graduated college, he had some, he wanted, you know, a grand, a grand adventure and something where he would have complete control over his life. I think, anyway, I really recommend this book. I think it's a great nonfiction I think it's a wonderful story about um, about the human spirit. Unfortunately, it did have a tragic end, but like I said, it's in the first paragraph on the first page, so I don't think that's a spoiler at all. And it was a movie also in 2007. I never saw the movie, never read the book. So yeah, I gave this a uh, five out of five stars. The next book that I read, or actually this wasn't the next one that I picked up. I'm actually doing this in reverse order, but another book that I finished last week was Anne of the Island. I had said I wanted to finish this. This is a third book in the series. This book takes place from when Anne is um, 17 to 21. So she finishes college and she's, like I said, I love this series and she matures a little bit, a little bit more each book. And here, you know, she's finally entering into I guess, full-fledged adulthood, and she's she's maturing a lot, and I think I'll pick up the next one soon. I think it's Anne's House of Dreams. I have to look at the, uh, the title to see what book four is called. I don't own it yet, but I love these covers. A couple of you commented how beautiful they are, and they are. Um, these are actually hard to find, so I actually search out these covers so that I could have the, the pretty ones. Um, and each cover is a different color. This one is purple, but it looks a little bluish on the on the screen. But yeah, so 
I really loved it. Five out of five stars. I just love Anne so, so much. She makes me so happy. The next one that I finished this past week was a YA contemporary that I received in my uppercase, and that is By Your Side by Casey West. I don't like many YA contemporaries. I like YA fantasy and things like that, but Casey West is the exception. I find her stories so enjoyable, so sweet, but believable. <laughs> I just, I like her stories. Um, I had another book by her that I read last year called P.S. I, I Like You, I think it's called. Um, I have it on my shelf, but it's, this is such an enjoyable read. So this follows a character who is actually, um, she's out with her friends for the weekend um, at a bonfire and she goes to use um, the bathroom in the, the library and gets locked in. And she's locked in with another boy who is sort of like the troublemaker, you know, how high schools are. And, um, and they begin to find out more about each other through this weekend. Now it's not insta love. They don't fall in love over the weekend, but you know, it slowly progresses after, after that as well, once they're let out of the library. But I found this really sweet, really heartwarming. And I really like this author and I will definitely be reading more by her. And the next book that I finished this past week, and it was actually the first one that I picked up and started, it was okay. It's With Every Breath by Leah Riley. I probably might even donate this. I just thought it was okay. You know, it's an adult romance about a woman who is wanting to make her mark as a writer, and she really wants to get this dream job at Outsider Magazine, which is sort of an adventure magazine. You know, they do a lot of um, publications about different adventures like rock climbing and and um, and all, all sorts of wild adventures. <laughs> and um, and so she goes off in, in search of, she receives an internship. She goes off in search for a good story and she meets a reclusive Scottish rock climber. Um, who has had some demons in his past and and she wants to find out you know he's a lot of people have been trying to land a story with him but he's so reclusive and um and he doesn't grant any media any access to him so and the story kind of goes goes from there i thought parts of the story were sweet you know it's about it's a lot about forgiveness forgiveness of yourself acceptance of the past about death and 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 of course love I, I don't know why I couldn't really I mean I just found the story to be okay I didn't I didn't connect with the characters for some reason I did continue on I mean the first uh, chapter you know I said last week that I was going to read and see what I was in the mood with the first chapter did grab me so I did give this three out of um three out of five stars, but I, I don't know, throughout the whole story, I just found it to be a little bit, I don't want to say predictable because I never, I never judge a book based on predictability because I, you know, romances are predictable anyway, but I don't know. I just found it to be a little bit, a little bit strange. So those are the four books that I finished last week. And the only book I plan on picking up tonight into tomorrow is Poison Princess by Cressley Cole. This is a YA fantasy. It's the first book in a series. I don't know how many books are in the series. I don't know if I'll pick them up, but I've always wanted to give this author a try. So I'm excited and hopefully I finish it between tonight and tomorrow because Sunday starts Read-A-Rama. So I, I had mentioned my Read-A-Rama TBR in my video last week. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to go through those books again, but starting on Sunday, I'll be starting that TBR. So whether I finish this book or not, like I said, I'm going to read it tonight and tomorrow. And then um, if I don't happen to finish it, I'm going to have to put it down for read Rama because I really want to get to that TBR. And then I'll pick this up afterwards if I don't finish it. But I think I can. I mean, it's 
It's a little chunky, but it is, let's see. Oh, it's only a little under, under 400 pages. So it's, <laughs> it's not as big as I thought. It's just the pages look, might be thick. So it looks a little chunky, but that's it. That's all I plan to read um, tonight and into tomorrow. And then for the coming week, I will start my Readorama TBR and I will do a wrap up next week once that's all finished. So that is all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.